please subscribe, turn on notifications, like, comment, and share the video. Become a channel sponsor and help support our content by going to our Patreon. Link in the description. Now enjoy the video. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the YouTuber Slazo and his friend, I'm Alex. Now, Slazo has a story very similar to Vic Mignogna. Fake allegations on him being a predator had been slung at his reputation and his friends, most notably I'm Alex, didn't even wait to see if there was proof. They ran with the story. If you don't know who I'm Alex is, he is a YouTuber. However, he was also Harry Osborn in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You can't convince me that those two images are not the same person. Now getting back into the story, Harry Osborn was really good friends with Slazo, but did not hesitate to sell him out as soon as the allegations were being branded at Slazo. What's sad is I'm Alex, among many other YouTubers, didn't just denounce Slazo, which would have been dirty enough. They actually started running with the baseless accusations, as if they were facts. In the description, you'll find a link to a video from the YouTuber Boblax. It is part of a playlist, and it's the first installment of the whole ordeal. This all started about six months ago, and Boblax's playlist takes you step by step through these events around the times they were happening. Fortunately, Slazo was able to clear his name and prove that the allegations were nothing but falsehoods. However, I'm Osborne didn't apologize. He basically said that the allegations may have been embellished, but Slazo was still at fault. The reason for bringing up this whole ordeal is because I'm Alex was recently on a podcast where he brings up what happened and why he went around spreading the false allegations, and honestly, it's the shittiest excuse someone could make for such appalling behavior. Essentially, he was peer pressured by his friends slash other YouTubers. Take a listen for yourself. With the stuff that happened with me, it wasn't just like, oh, my mate got accused of some really terrible things and then like confronted him. It was like, no, 20 other full-time YouTubers went, if you don't go this way, we all think it's this way. Yeah. They go, you know, like you've got to, you've got to really join in on this side. Like this is the way that it's like this is the way you think it's going to go. And mm. and you're not thinking it going, oh man, there's a lot to gain from this. Nobody's ever thinking that. But it's one of those things where when you suddenly have like 20 people call you up, mm. it's like a terrifying experience. Can you believe it? The reason he went and defamed Slazo, a man he was friends with, with stories of him being a predator baseless stories of him being a predator was because of peer pressure well what a wonderful fucking excuse obviously harry osborne should be let off the hook you want to know what's the funniest part of this whole thing the heir to oscorp had just defamed slazo his friend and his excuse to get out of being the bad guy was to throw his other friends under the bus and say he only did it because they peer pressured him. That's some legit Osborne friendship mentality. Anyways, tell us what you have to say in the comment section. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and check out our Patreon and consider pledging a single dollar to help support our content.